Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how to create an Azure Resource Manager service connection with an existing service principle in Azure DevOps. So for this demo, we are inside Azure DevOps portal and we can see that I have few organization inside my Azure DevOps portal. For this demo, I am going inside Software Circle organization and how to create organization and how to connect with Visual Studio with repo and other things we can see in another video. In this video, we are going to create service connection. So let's go to in this demo, we are going to create service connection. For creation of service connection, we have to go inside project. So this is our organization, Software Circle, and demo is our project. So we can go inside demo. And now we can see that there are project setting instead of organization setting. If you go inside uh, first in organization level, you can see organization setting. And then if you go inside project, you can see project setting. And here you can see whatever repo which we have. We have software React demo, we have demo, we, we have a lot of different stuff here. So for the service connection, we can go to project settings. And inside project setting, we can go for service connection. And right now there is no service connection. We can go ahead and create a service connection. And which type of service connection you want to create. You want to create Azure Classic one, you want to create Azure Repo or, or TFS one or Resource Manager. Dif different connection type is present for different purpose. Right now, we are going to use Azure Resource Manager because in next demo, we are going to deploy a ASP.NET Core Web App to Azure. So we will see that. So I'm going to select Azure Resource Manager and click on Next. So now we have multiple options here. One is service principle, which is automatic, which is recommended way. We have another way called service principle, which is manual, managed identity and published profile. So for this demo, we are going to use service principle because service principle we created into previous video. We have seen that one, how to create service principle inside Azure AAD and how to add service principle with any resource group and select this one we can click on next so we can see more option to provide subscription id name and other details so let's go to azure portal and let's get the details so now for subscription i am going to use this subscription and this is our subscription id we can get and we can go and put the subscription id here we can use this name also from this city, I can grab that name and this is our name. Service principle, which service principle we are going to use. So we can go to Azure Active Directory and see that service principle from app registration. And we have created this one into previous videos. So we know that this is app software web app demo. We are going to use this is our client ID, which we are going to grab that. And we are going to put the service principle ID. So once we provide the details for service principal ID, we have multiple options for authentication that we are going to use key or certificate. For this demo, we are going to use key. And for key section, we can go to certificate in secret section. And if you have already created any client secret, you can use that one or you can create a new one. And I'm going to create for this demo. And I'm going to create for less period. Uh, Generally, we should avoid to have long and indefinite one. We can have rotation and other thing for more security purpose. So I'm going to create this one. I'm going to get this value and I'm going to put inside service principle and tenant ID. What is going to be tenant ID? Tenant ID is our battery ID, which we can get from application itself into overview page. And then we can put that one and let's click on verify now verification is succeeded i can go ahead and put the name for the service connection so i'm going to put that name for software demo and then we can put the details and description which is optional and then i'm going to verify and save 
generally we should not give this grant access to permission to all pipeline because of all pipeline can use this service screen connection in that case always we should check that which pipeline should use this one because that way we should design that one it should be very limited access for go ahead and, ahead and verify and save so now our service principle has been created now if we see there are multiple uh, option here and then we can see that we can manage all the details who are the creator uses this history will come when we will use this one inside any pipelines and other things we can go ahead and provide mode security here that who is going to use which project it is going to use or which organization we can add that project in administrator here we can add from AAD we can select the details that who is going to be our AAD and other things all the details can come and we can also put that who is going to um, from organization who is going to be used all the details we can put which pipeline will have permission and which project will have permissions we can see that one all the details we can do and this is what i wanted to share and if you wanted to edit some certain time we wanted to update any key after rotation any details you can go ahead and do that one and this is what i wanted to share in this video in next video we are going to use this service connection to deploy a web app to azure